Sergeant LaDavid Johnson was laid to rest on Saturday as family, friends, and fellow soldiers gathered for the fallen soldier's burial in Hollywood, Florida. A patriotic procession followed the casket of the fallen hero who was only 25. He was killed October 4th when Islamic militants ambushed his unit in Niger. Johnson leaves behind his grieving wife, Maisha, who is six months pregnant, a son, and a stepdaughter, as well as a large extended family. U.S. Special Operations Forces have been working with Niger's military in the fight against extremists in the African region. Sergeant Johnson was one of four U.S. soldiers killed in the ambush. Hundreds gathered to mourn seven of the victims of a militant attack on security forces in Egypt's western desert that sources say killed at least 52 yesterday. Mourners in the Egyptian cities across Egypt carried the coffins of police officers and conscripts who had been killed in gun battles. Egyptian authorities today said two police operations were moving in on a suspected militant hideout on Friday when one of the patrols came under fire from heavy weapons in a remote area southwest of Cairo. At least 15 militants were also killed in that gunfight. While well, firefighters in West Virginia battled a massive blaze at a former manufacturing plant. That fire started just before one this morning with flames quickly spreading, engulfing multiple buildings in the area. Residents say they heard a loud explosion shortly before they saw flames. Several fire departments responded to the inferno, but no word on what caused that fire. Federal authorities call it Operation Jungle Book, which they say is the largest wildlife trafficking sweep in Southern California history. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife officials showed off several confiscated animals at its facility in Torrance on Friday. They say they filed charges against 16 people and seized dozens of animals, including tiger cubs, monitor lizards, and a tortoise. Prosecutors say they're combating an ever-growing black market for exotic animals that threatens the survival of some species. Remember to like Valley News Live on Facebook. You can follow the latest news, weather, and breaking news updates anytime on your feed. Just search Valley News Live, like our page, and you'll stay informed throughout the entire day. Up next, could your bank ask you to take a selfie for your credit card application? We'll explain in just a few minutes.